Hey guys, it's Musical Poet 23, and this is my very first makeup tutorial, and I plan on, plan, ah, plan on making many more. And I'm here to show y'all an eyeshadow look I made up, and it's inspired by the sunset. I'm giving y'all a closer look. But the colors really don't pop that well on camera. In real life, it looks better, and in pictures, it looks better. But just on the video camera, it doesn't look that well. And anyways, if you want to find out how to do how I did this, then stay tuned. Okay guys, now we've got our naked eye, naked eye, now we're going to prime it. What I'm going to use to prime my lid is Revlon Color Stay Under Eye Concealer. And it's, oh, it doesn't tell me the shade that it's in. I'm sorry guys, it faded out. But it's like, it's either the lightest or the next to lightest. And you just put that all over your eye lid. Aww. Guys, don't laugh at my fingernail. I know the last time y'all saw it, it was all long and glorious and all so pretty. But it kept chipping, so I just ripped them off because I got tired of it. Are y'all laughing? Huh? I really think the word hunt is funny, guys. I'm sorry. You can put some here on your brow area right here. Because there is some color going to go there, too. You can take just a tiny bit, like, pop, maybe that much, and go under your eye with it. Because some color is going to go there, too. Use a, using a concealer is great for a primer because not only does it provide a sticky base for the color to stick to, but it conceals like pimples and stuff because you don't want any pimples in your eyeshadow look. It evens out the skin tone and everything. It's like doing multiple things in one little product. Now that you've got your lids primed, now this is the fun part, the eyeshadow. For me, I use the Coastal Sense 88 palette. It has 88 colors in it, and might I say, it's a wonderful product. Uh, all the colors are so vivid, and they pop, and they last really long, and you have your... Let me show you. You have your neutrals, your silvers, your colors. You have, you have it all in this palette, and I got it on Amazon. And it was, I don't remember the price, but it wasn't, like, freakishly expensive. Okay, now we're going to get sort of a large brush. Not too fluffy, but something like this. And I'm using my brushes from the Shaney Cosmetics line. It's not focusing. Fine then, camera. Don't focus. I'll just go on. And we're gonna get this, oh. We're gonna get this sort of sultry, copperish orange. Get an abundant amount. And we're gonna cover like half the lid with it. And mat it on. Depending on how intense you want the look, you're going to want to use more or less. For me, I'm not using that much because I don't want the colors to be like, bam, straight in your face, bright. But I do want some color there. Now that you've got your orange on, we're going to get a smaller and flatter brush like this. And we're gonna get the brightest yellow. This one for me. We wanna get and get a like a abundant amount of it. And we're gonna mat it on.
focus more on your lash line because that's where it's going to show up. It's sort of like the sun in this sunset. Now that you've got that yellow, we're going to get a brush something like this. It looks a little angled on the camera, but it's not angled in real life. And we're going to get a pink, like sort of like a hot pink magenta looking color. And we're going to put it right next to that yellow. I hope y'all can see what I'm doing. And now y'all are going to see why I focus more on the lash line. We're going to take that pink and lightly go over, connect to the orange. look something like this at this stage. Now using the same brush after you just clean it off a little, we're gonna we're gonna go in and get this sort of shadowy like dark purple. And we're gonna make a V. So Apply some out here on the corner and then make it be over that purple, I mean pink. Don't worry about blending at this moment, we're gonna do that later. And if you feel any of the colors are lacking any pop, then you can go in and redefine them using a smaller brush because we don't want to mess anything up. Like for instance, I feel like the pink is a little lacking. So I'm going to go back and get that same pink I used. I'm going to apply just a little bit right there. We're not going to worry about blending right now. I feel like the yellow was a little lacking, so we're going to fix that too really quick. Okay. Now we can blend. This is what my blending brush looks like. pointy and fluffy and tiny. It's cute. I like it. And we're going to we'll watch how I blend and this is most likely how you're going to blend too. I'm going to blend out the harsh edges of this purple right here. We're gonna sort of blend this out too a little, just a little. And we're also gonna blend out this harsh line up here. This is what it should look like right now. Okay, now time for our highlight. Get your white. You can use your blending brush for this one. We're going to put this white on our brow bone. Go under our brow with it a little bit.
Ooh, I have a little fallout on the bottom. I'm gonna get my little fan brush. goes and this part is optional you can get a sort of a warm skin tone color on this palette this is how I do it I get this color and mix it with this color and make sort of this warm tone and I put it right between my highlight and the colors sort of evens out the tone and just adds warmth to the look. Do you like the Coldplay I'm having playing in the background? The song is Paradise. It, every time I hear this song, I think of like a sunset, something like this, and every time I like see a picture of this look, something like this, I think of this song because I guess the idea of paradise and the sunset are just sort of like connected in my mind. Okay guys, next step is to go under your lash line with a few colors. I'm going to take this angled smudge brush and I'm going to get that orange that I used in the beginning. and go under my lash line with it, like halfway. And then we're gonna get that shadowy purple color again. And we're gonna go under our lash line at the side with it. And we have some fallout on the bottom. It looks like a bruise. No we no worries. <laughs> no worries. Either way, after this, we're going to clean up with the concealer. So just try to get as much as you can off. Okay, now for the fun part. I say with much, much sarcasm. This part is actually tedious and actually a little degrading if you're new to it. Liquid liner. I'm very new to it, so it's very degrading to me. Okay guys, so the brand I'm using is Ramel London, and it's the Glam Eyes Professional Liquid Liner, and the tip looks like this. It's small and precise, and it's felt. It's like a felt tip. And it's sort of hard for me to do liquid liner because my lashes are, are long and they curl up and they get in the way. And so it's like, it gets all over my eyelashes and it's a mess, so don't laugh. Don't laugh at all. I'm going to try to show you how I do it, but I don't know if you want to know how or not. I start out on the outside. And keep working my way in. Like so. I have to re dip it.
And now we're gonna wing it out. And this is how I wing mine out. I make sure my liner has covered all my top lash line. And then I point it like where my eyebrow ends. And then I make a line like that. And then I make the shape. I draw it in. Like that. It didn't turn out that bad this time, but it's certainly not the best. It's certainly not excellent. Here's a closer look. Okay. Next step is get your pencil liner. For me, this is the Unstoppable by Maybelline New York. It's not gonna fit. Yeah, there it goes. And we're gonna ooh, we're gonna draw on the inside of our lash line. like halfway. And we're going to connect the wing. Ooh. Messed up a little bit. When that dries, we can go on some makeup remover and fix it, but it's not too bad, but I'll fix it later. Okay, guys, I'll do my mascara routine, and while I do that, y'all can do y'alls, and I'll be right back. Okay guys, I'm back, and this is the finished look. And for my lips, I used this. I really don't know what brand it is, guys, I'm sorry. But it's sort of like a pinkish. Like that. That's my cousin's by mistake. I don't know how it ended up in my makeup bag, and now I have it. She's probably watching this saying, why is she using my lip gloss? I'm sorry, I keep forgetting to give it back to you. It just ended up in my bag a couple of weeks ago. I'll remember next time, I promise. You know who you are. Okay, and that's pretty much it, guys. I hope y'all enjoyed this tutorial. I hope it helped y'all. And hope you'll have a good day. Stay true. Until next time, bye.